Robert and this is a quick road test video and this is for a Toyota RAV4 and it's the hybrid version of the car and the XL model. This particular car is registered NJ66 WLA and mileage currently showing is 67,785 miles. The reason we do all of these videos is very simple indeed. It basically gives us an opportunity to show the car actually in operation because we feel it's really important that no matter what car we're selling, uh, all of them get videoed on the move so we can feed back any issues there may be on any of those cars. Uh, we know to our cost, unfortunately, just how frustrating it can be to go and see a car which can look perfectly good and then have a fundamental issue which shows up whilst driving the car. So every now and again, our own personal cars which we use, we don't use stock cars to um, to drive around in, uh, come up for sale, but obviously our business, um, we put them on our business's website quite clearly. Um, this is actually my wife's car, so it's our family car, and will be supplied with a warranty via Bristol uh, B BMC Specialist Cars, our company. The car itself is the first hybrid RAV4. We've had plenty of RAV4s previously, so we know the car very well indeed, um, but this is the first of the hybrids. We know hybrid very well. Uh, I've currently got a little CT200. We've had, my wife normally has the RX 400s or 450s, which are quite big cars. Um, but she likes the size of this car because we have plenty of Honda CRVs as well. But their the hybrid version of those is just too expensive at the moment. Uh, so we wanted to give it a go just to see what it was like. And it is absolutely brilliant. Um, it's the Obviously, you press the button, it starts immediately. There are no warning lights on the dashboard at all relating to the engine or any other part of the car. But the way the hybrid system works is absolutely brilliant. Uh, if you've not driven one of these before and you've just driven a normal, regular petrol or diesel, automatic or manual, they will genuinely feel quite clumsy after you drive one of these. These are so, so smooth because the interaction between the engine, the hybrid system and the gearbox is all but seamless. You can hardly feel the difference when it's going in one and the other. Um, the whole point of the hybrid system is obviously to utilize, uh, to, to be better on fuel, and it definitely is. It's very, very fuel efficient. A lot of the time you'll be driving, um, especially at slower speeds, in electric only. There is no charging of these. It's um, what the Lexus and Toyota refer to as self-charging. So basically, the only thing you can run out of is fuel. So you can drive it in exactly the same way as you'd drive any other car. Um, there are a couple of different modes. You can um, go into EV mode to sort of go in electric mode for a while. You've got eco mode, you've got an air press sport mode. So you feel a noticeable increase in the um, the, the throttle response for the vehicle in that mode as well. Um, play around with them basically. I tend to have it in normal mode the whole time. I find eco mode probably a little bit too slow for me. It's fine around town but on the open road. Uh, normal's fine and sports if you really want to but um, it's it all works perfectly. And it works with the CVT gearbox um, which is brilliant in these because it is so smooth and especially at low speed manoeuvres where even the best autos can feel a little bit clunky and indecisive. These are absolutely so smooth, so soothing in the way they drive. I uh, absolutely love the thing, I really do. And the gearbox, as with the engine and the hybrid system, all working absolutely perfectly, by the way. The steering of the car tracks absolutely dead straight. There are no vibrations at this speed or any speed up to legal limit. And obviously we know the car well, we've driven it at the motorways. Uh, so we know that there's nothing that comes back on it at all. Um, it's very nice power steering, very accurate, well weighted. Toyota have always done it well on the RAV4s. Um, notwithstanding, it's not a sports car, but it is not vague and clumsy like so many of its competition. Uh, the chassis likewise um, strikes a lovely balance between being very, very comfortable indeed, and it really rides absolutely beautifully. It's got a really nicely damped feel to the quality of its suspension, and um, they are wonderfully comfortable cars. Um, but 
it also copes with corners very very well indeed it, it goes through them with a minimum of fuss there's not a lot of body roll um, and there's not that you don't get much lurching with the vehicle which you can get again with so many of the, its competitors as well what I'm also looking for in road test, by the way, when I'm driving the car, is just listening out for any noises coming from underneath the car that shouldn't be there, any sort of rattles or clonks. There's nothing at all. You'll hear it hitting a bump, but there's nothing thereafter. Brakes on the car, just make sure no one's directly behind me and give them a bit of a thud. I know they're good, but basically, just shove on them. Really powerful brakes. I'm not going to go too mad because I've got a load of stuff in the back which I'm taking to the tip, so I don't want them flying forward, but they are very good. There's no pulsing, no vibrations. They're very, very positive indeed. Noticeably sharper and more aggressive than on, let's say, the Lexus RX, where a lot of the work's done with hitting the brakes regenerates a lot of the electric to go back into the hybrid system. Um, but on those, they can feel a little bit vague um, on a slight dead pedal, uh, but obviously they've worked their magic on these because it, it feels exactly as you expect any car to feel. Coming inside the car, first things first, they are very, very well-made cars. There are no squeaks or rattles inside the vehicle at all. Um, I am showing the video with the car not cleaned because um, obviously with my wife using it daily, it's, it's pointless doing it. Um, it is very clean in here, I have to say. It's been kept really, really nicely. And when we do find it, the photographs and the video of the interior, um, you'll see just how clean it is. It's been kept very, very nicely, but beautifully put together, as I said. Um, it's a very nice dashboard to look at, quite modern looking, but really simple to, to use. And things I really like, you've got sat-nav there working perfectly. Um, you've got the dual zone climate control system separate from the entertainment, which I really like i hate it when manufacturers put it into the screen um, because that means you've got to go into menus in there this you just got the big rotary dials to dial in your temperature and i said you can have different temperatures side to side air conditioning works perfectly by the cup by the way um, it blows out absolutely ice cold air heated seats uh, being the xl model with the leather again work absolutely brilliantly i've got them on now and they're lovely and toasty um, dashboard in front is very simple easy to read and legible temperature gauge just under half which is exactly where it's meant to be on one of these cars by the way um, but it really does drive absolutely beautifully and I'm going to be honest with you I'm massively biased I, I, I do like these cars uh, but I've always liked right from way back with the early Toyota Prius and the, the particularly the Lexus, the RXs that we've had, um, Toyota and Lexus, which are the, essentially the same company, um, were light years ahead of most of the manufacturers in the way they got the hybrid system to interact. It's it's so so smooth, and people that drive them are astounded, and rightly so. Um, but the point of this video is to just basically to show the example we're selling but to feed back anything that shows up while you're driving the car and there's nothing at all that I can report back. It drives absolutely beautifully. Um, it helps the fact is obviously right up until the service we've done, it's been all of its servicing was done previously by Toyota. So that it's been very, very well cared for. As always though, if you've got any questions about the car, don't hesitate, do give us a call.